What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Listen, I am so hot right now. It is unbelievable. Can you hear that fan? It's on a very low setting, so I'm very surprised if you can't hear it. Please do not comment on the fan. Do not say anything about the noise that could possibly be happening. Like, you can't hear it that much. It, it's fine, it's fine guys, but I'm so hot right now, so I just need a little bit of air, but I've decided to film today because I can and I want to. Today, we have 2Anyone, of course, 21, 2Anyone, come back home music video. Now, this looks very futuristic from what I'm seeing on the, like, the thumbnail and this visual here, or the, the opening a little bit. I'm like, whoa, what is going on? Here! You know, I'm very excited to dive into this. I have no clue. Usually I get kind of like a vibe of what the song is going to be, what, what the feel is, but I can't grasp it. I can't. I do, do, genuinely don't know. It could, it's, it's, it sounds sad. Honestly, it sounds sad and I'm not ready for a sad anthem yet. It sounds very sad. I haven't reacted to a sad song by to anyone yet, so. Today might be the day, everybody. But anyways, they, you know K-pop always, always just surprises us. But yes, I'm very excited to get into this. Let's go, everybody. Come on now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm very scared. I, look at this visual, look at this visual. A beautiful visual. Why is that the most beautiful thing I've ever heard? What in the futuristic vibes is this? That was beautiful, that little, it's like, what is it, a lullaby? I knew it was gonna be sad. I knew it was gonna be sad. That's so nice, I love that. What is that, what is that instrument? I can't tell. I'm so, I'm just scared it's gonna be annoying, I'm turning off. Oh, no, we just got strong and help. Ah, okay. What is going on? I didn't expect that to come in. It went out, but I'm, um, what it, what it, what it, what it, what it uh, listen to that. What in the rock? Hey, 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 hey now, hey now. Way to start out with a bang. Oh. What is going on? Virtual Paradise. Wow. Oh, I do love a narrative music video. Am I going to like this? I love the song so far. I love the rock feel. I'm very into the kind of pop rock s kind of thing. So, kind of, it sounds dope. Sounds dope. Wow, this is sad. Okay. I know it's gonna be a case of the lyrics are sad. Cause this whole thing is so desaturated and so lowly lit that you can just tell it's like a sad lyric. Because that looks as sad. Very sad, very neutral colours, but very desaturated, you know, trying to hinting at some sadness there. Why are they crushing up? Oh, this was not what I was expecting. I am going to boil to death. Okay, this isn't what I was expecting at all. Very powerful, very powerful, I'd say, regarding the vocals. It giving us vocals, giving it us, but I'm emotional. So, there seems to be some... Oh, oh no. Are they in virtual paradise right now? What? What am I watching? I thought it was like emotional and the beat just went meow. What? Oh! Hey, hey, hey. This just went to some sad to like crazy techno stuff. Wow. What is this 
futuristic. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's one of their best music videos. What? No, no, listen to that transition. You can't go from that to a guitar. Hey. Why did I make a tea? I'm so hot right now. Wow. Beautiful. Where are they taking me? I'm literally getting so stressed right now because I have no idea where they're taking me. They're going from like, um, I just like going from like this, oh, techno beat to like some really, I don't know where they're taking me. I'm very stressed right now. Very stressed. Help me. So, I'm guessing he's in the that world thing, and then maybe this is the real world, maybe because he's in the and they're all there. Then, so this kind of futuristic world is like a what's that? What was it? What did it say? It was like a fake kind of world, virtual. I, I adore these visuals, like this is one of my favourite. Okay, so it's either, so it was a happy relationship, but now it's probably... I think I'm starting to grasp it. I think I'm starting to grasp it. I think I'm starting to grasp it. Okay, so he's going to this like virtual world and she wants him to come back home. Because it's not perfect where they are, but it's perfect in this virtual world. Like all this, all this like food, perfect food and stuff. I think I'm grasping it. This is the first time I've ever grasped a music video. I bet it's wrong. I bet I'm doing it wrong again. You guys can yell at me. <laughs> What's going on there? <gasps> what are they doing? They're going to ruin that world. To bring him back to the original, to the to the one that the uh, girl who's crying is in. <gasps> Am I right? Am I right? Wow! Who killed them? Oh my god! This is just not. Oh my. Hey. hey! Oh, this is literally, this is my favourite to anyone song. Come on now, the change from the guitar to the techno beats to the visuals that just really enhance the video. I'm so impressed. I love it. This is honestly such a beautiful narrative though. But just such a nice. Pie ending. Yes. They're all so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, they've broken this like future. Wow, they teased us with that ending. Listen to it. Just ends. They're like, no more. No more. Wow. I'm sorry, that's their best music video. I haven't seen other ones, but that's... I've seen Lollipop and I've seen um, I'm the Best. But considerably out of them, that is my favourite music video. The narrative, the song, the beats, the techno, the change with the guitar. It's just so impressive. And just like, it's such a long song and I love a long song. I think the longest song I've listened to is... I think 9 minutes 53, which is um, by Lana Del Rey, but why did I just tell you that? <laughs> I don't know, huge Lana Del Rey fan. Anyways, I am really impressed, I'm really, really impressed, and um, oh, Dear John by Taylor Swift, that's long. By the way, Rosé May apparently is going to do a cover of Dear John, which is one of my favourite songs, so if you want me to write to that, I can do it, but anyways, we're talking about to anyone. I am very impressed with that. I think that's one of their best songs. I haven't heard of those songs, but I just think that's one of the best. 
Come back home. And then and then the way it's just like the the guitar. I can't tell what the song's gonna be about. I, it's gonna be sad. I know what it is. I'm very nervous. Come back home. And all that, but it was so powerful um regarding the visual the the visuals, both the visuals and the um singing vocals. Right, let's check out genius. Okay. One, two, three, you left me. Damn it, it's sad. Okay. But I hear your breath from somewhere. Once again, four, five, six, red, red tears. Oh, red tears. Oh, that was interesting because they were using red on people's backs. Okay. I miss your scent that embraced me. You said this, but this is Dara's verse. You said this was all for me, like a lie. You coldly turn around. Who hurt them? Who hurt them? Seriously. Why, why, you're gone away. Okay, so this is Bomb C L M Z. Come back home. Can you come back home? Don't leave me at the end of the cold world, but come back to my side. Come back home. Can you come back home? I'm pushing back all the pain. I'm still waiting for you like this. Now you got to do what you got to do. I can't grasp me. And let's come back home a lot of times. Minzy is here. Okay. I hate you for not answering. I wonder if you miss me sometimes too. I'm trapped in a time without you. Ah, that's like there because they're in a different realm of the world. Okay. I can't see ahead and I'm so scared. The many days that are unfinished, it seems like they, they'll they be waiting for us. Where are you? Where too far away? Yeah, so this is so like linking to what we saw in the music video with like the guy being in another, in another world, which seemingly perfect. Cause like you just see that huge banquet and stuff like that. But back home, it's kind of desaturated, very low leveled in terms of light, very like melancholic, if you understand me. Um, and then it's the chorus again. And then we have, oh wow, that's that's the end of the song. Wow, I didn't expect that. I thought the song was, wow, I thought the song had more lyrics than that. But that, it's like enough just to like, okay, come back home, don't you leave me at the end of the whole world. I really thought the lyrics there were very powerful. They're very powerful. I just want to read a bit about the song um, because I want to see how well it did because I really hope it did well. Because that is a beautiful song with just such a great techno beat, just to like. Yay, there you go. Co commercial success in South Korea. Yes. Wow. Song received, received positive reviews from critics. Hold on. Yeah, like the, the genre was like electronic pop R&B trap. It just had so many genres in one song. Like that sad guitar beat and then went into the meow, meow, and that techno kind of stuff. Um, written by Teddy. You legend. Produced by Teddy. You legend. Thank you, Teddy. Teddy has, does, has done so much. I think we need to thank him. It's also done by Choi, Pil Kang, and then D. Dot P. I think that's like a producer name. Um, Future Bounce. That's, his, that's their name. I don't know who that is. But anyways, well done. Songwriters, producers, well done. Also, and the fact that Teddy wrote that, is Teddy okay? He keeps writing all these really sad songs. I'm scared someone hurt him because he has the ability to write such a good breakup or just a sad song. Oh, the music video for song and director by D. Shen. Well done, man. You killed it. Um, and was noted for its high production value and use of computer-generated imagery. The video reminiscent of the film The Matrix incorporates an array of dystopian and futuristic elements. I said that. Oh yeah, I want to see if there's like a, what does it, oh, what does it say? Music video. Well, I want to see what it's about. I want to see what it's about. So about the Matrix. With the increasing focus and reliance of technology, the theme of the music video attempts to convey an importance of humanity and re reality. I said that. I think I said that. The group is see seen living in a futuristic world where one can escape and enter a virtual paradise with a special machine. This dopian like real world played by norm features a normal girl played by Dara whose boyfriend is addicted to the virtual paradise and would rather be in a f fantasy environment than with her. Sorry, I know this is such a simple me as like in the music video, you guys probably got it like straight away, but for me, I don't get music video um, meaning straight away. It takes me a while, so for me to get that straight away is very impressive. Thank you very much, because the amount of times I've been corrected, and, like I, I think one time I said, what did I say? I said one thing was like a, a sad song and then everyone was like, Isaac, that's not true. And I was like, damn it, I need to get my, my words right. Um, whoa! Filled with elaborate sets, special effects, and unique wardrobes, a video garner notability for its high production value. Half a million dollars! 
Money well spent. Money well spent. Stream that song, everybody. Stream that song. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having the most wonderful day. I love you guys so much. You are very kind for tuning in with me. Let me save the video. Yeah, you can go check out my Instagram, which is as at James and my Twitter, which is I at Talks Music. And then you can go subscribe to my channel if you would like to, but you don't have to at all. You don't have to. It's totally fine if you don't want to. I'm very annoying at times, you know, so you don't have to. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Come back home.